Pero kasi hindi siya kasama para pag i-release sa akin yung papilip. Let us pray. O powerful God, creator of heaven and earth, in the rich depths of your wisdom, you have empowered us to produce great and beautiful works. Grant we pray that those who use these vehicles and equipments, the Philippine National Police, may use them with care for the safety of others as they go about their duties. Let them always find Christ to be the companion of their journey, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. And now for presentation of the PNP equipment, we might request Police Lieutenant General Archie Francisco Gamboa, the Deputy Chief PNP of Operation with the Chairman of the NHQ Bank. Please. To the Chief Philippine National Police, Police General Officer Bayamisel, or DCA, Police Lieutenant General Roger Mendez, members of the directorial staff, regional directors of the different bureaus, our suppliers, to the police commission officers, non commission officers, and uniform personnel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. For in behalf of the National Headquarters Vincent Awards Committee, the Procurement Management Committee, and the Committee on Inspection and Acceptance, I'd like to present the following equipment procured by the National Headquarters Vincent Awards Committee. 95 units 4x4 pickup for the provincial and city directors, 10,000 units striker fired 9mm pistol canic for our recruits. 78 units squad automatic weapon 556 five, light machine gun Negev for our mobile forces. 586,226 rounds of 9mm ball and 3,684 units enhanced combat helmet. Part of this, this is a part of the 11, more than 11,000 of the same procurement, enhanced combat helmet, and 2,255 units tactical vest level 3A with two upgrade plates level 4. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. We now proceed to the blessing of the equipment. And this will be appreciated by Police Colonel Lucio Rosa Jr., Officer in charge of the Traffic Service, together with our. Thank you. 
Yun talaga sa
Lions. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Father Senior Officers, Father Rosaroso, Distinguished Guests, Men and Women of the Philippine National Police, Friends from the Media, Ladies and Gentlemen, Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. At malakas ang ilan. Let me thank the Directorate for Logistics. Buti na lang, airborne. Buti. Buti na lang, airborne. Sabi ko kasi kanina, wala kang message eh. Ayaw ni BCO eh. First of all, of course, we'd like to acknowledge the efforts of the BCO. Acceptance Committee and the Tokyo Mail Management. Maraming maraming salamat at congratulations. Again, let me thank the Directorate for Logistics, the NFT BAC, and all concerned units for continuing to ensure that the PNP's capability requirements are duly met and our police units are adequately equipped to perform the mandated factors. Today's blessing of this duly procured PNP equipment is another encouraging development, especially for our police operatives at the front lines in the campaign against crimes and lawlessness. This is also a significant part of our transformation program, which is geared towards attaining a fully capable and effective police service. We have been working hard in ensuring that our group should communicate and investigate requirements are met through the efficient and timely implementation of our capability enhancement program. And I'm happy that through the efforts of the Directorate for Logistics and the NHQ BAC, our police units are getting what they need in the pursuance of their mission. These mobility assets will go a long way in helping increase police visibility in different localities in the light of our efforts towards further reducing street crimes and ensuring safe and peaceful communities. The new partners will also keep our police operatives, particularly our new recruits, ready and hopefully more confident to pursue their mission at the front lines of our campaign for peace and order. This is also our way of sending a message to the community that we have a police force that is adequately and properly armed and equipped to render fast and efficient police services. I hope that with the distribution of these items to the concerned units, our police operatives will now be more inspired and enthusiastic to perform the respective mandates in furtherance of the overall PNP mission. All I ask from our police units to put all this to good use while making sure that these equipment are properly cared for. Treat this as your very own because these are essential to our service. Let me assure you that our capability enhancement program is a continuing effort and I want every member of the PNP to know that your PNP leadership will always have your best interest at heart. We want you to have the best resources for your use and above all, we want to ensure your safety and security while performing your mandated tasks. As PNP Chief, I want to always make sure that you are properly armed and equipped to do your job, especially when you are at the front lines, and at the same time ensure that your moral and welfare concerns are also duly addressed. In turn, we expect you to always be at your best in the performance of your duties. Let us continue to pursue the reforms that we have started in the organization. Reforms not only in police capability, but also in attitude and performance in service. Bigyan natin ang sambayanan ng mahusay, sigasig, at marangal na servisyo. Maraming salamat at mabuhay. Thank you very much, sir.
Please gather Oscar Alvarado to the national team.